welcome back to the channel, Brian the Divine Healer, here with you on this Wicked Wednesday. That's right. Welcome to the channel. Come on in, grab your coffee, sit back, relax, because it's going to be a good one. We're going to do your reading. <clears throat> That's right. So, who do we got now? Oh, yeah, Cancer Leos. How the hell are you doing? Hope you had a great night. So, if your birthday was July 19th to the 25th, you are part of the cusp of oscillation. Hmm. Very interesting. Oscillation. That word itself is very interesting. Anyways. So basically, you're probably asking what the hell is a cusp? Well, some people believe it, some people don't, but it's that imaginary line that is in between two signs. And that's where your birthday falls. So... That's all I gotta say. <laughs> it's just the transition time, right? Okay, so I wanna grab my lights so here's Tarot back here and you know get going. Anyways, I wanna throw a little sidebar conversation at you real quick. So I wake up this morning, feeling good, had some crazy dreams. I don't remember them, but I'm sure there was those, the, the, the downloads, you know what I mean? So I wake up, I look at my phone, I turn on my phone and then I look at it. And then there's just this random person on my phone asking me questions in a text. And I'm like, what the hell? So I noticed that this little person, I won't divulge the names, but... They were saved as a contact in my phone. Now let me ask you this. How the fuck did that happen? I don't know this person. They're surely not in my contacts. But when I woke up, they were in my contacts. Saved. Talking to me. Asking me questions. So then I ask questions and I get no answers. So guess what? Blocked. Screenshotted. Reported. See you later, you bums. Keep your magic to yourself. You know what I'm saying? Fuck you, scammers. I know what you're doing. I screenshot every shit that y'all do. I'm not stupid. I know the area code. I know where it's coming from. So you better stop. So that's all I gotta say. Must be doing something right if I got all these haters, right? Yeah. Anyways, I'm sorry about that little rant. But I just had to put it out to y'all, so if it happens to you, you kind of know what to do. Screenshot, block, report. That's it. You know what I'm saying? I don't know if people understand this, but... Pretending to be somebody else is a crime. Harassing somebody online is a crime. The FBI has a cyber unit. I don't know if y'all know that shit. But, but they watch that shit. They track that shit. They're following your shit for whoever that is. So, my cancer. Leo, friends. Sorry about all that. Just had to put it out there because it was kind of bothering me. And, you know, once you let some shit go, you feel way better. So, that's kind of what I did. <laughs> and I just happened to take your time to do it. Nonetheless, let's get into your reading. Okay. Let me move my coffee. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Hope you guys have got your coffee ready to go. I'll give you like two seconds to go get yours. Ready? 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Too late. <laughs> Just kidding. Hurry up. Okay, so noobs, this is what I'm going to do. But before I get into you guys, divine score. I'm going to subscribe. Thank you for your like, your share, your subscribe, and your comments. I actually really love it. Noobs, glad you made it back with your coffee. Here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to tell you what I do. I'm a intuitive tarot reader. I give you your messages, your little stories. And then send you on your way to Subway to go get your salad and you tell them all about my channel. I love that shit. But I lay two cards out here, right? There's, there's two cards in the beginning that's going to be your, your duality, okay? It's in the present, not in the past, nor the future. Because I'm not a fortune teller. I'm a now teller. <laughs> okay, so whenever you get this video, it's going to hit, it's going to relate. Doesn't matter if it's yesterday or six months from now. So, those two cards represent your duality. That's the balance of your duality, yourself. Masculine, feminine, light, dark, good, bad, yin, yang. You get it. 
So then after that, I will lay more cards out to tell you a message. And that message will be your story. Okay? And then so after that, I will lay more, two more cards out to close the duality. And give you your verdict, your outcome, your finale. And that'll be it, my friends. So, with that being said, let's get into your reading. Okay, here comes the first two cards of your energy now. Are you ready? Are you ready? Are you sure? Ooh, look at you, look at you. Mmm, Queen of Pentacles, huh? Beautiful, stable, grounded. Very much got going for you a solid foundation. Strong. The roots that you, the seeds that you planted had grown to be strong roots. Look at, look at her hair. Like, I mean, she's just so grounded. Look at all the green. Like, come on. Okay, I hope you all can see this. My lighting, I'm always adjusting, so bear with me. Okay, so that's half your energy now. Let's get into the other half. This goes. Look at you, man. Love and life. Yeah. You're loving where you're at. Nine of Cups. That's wish fulfillment. That's happy joy. Look at like boom. Throw up all that back, all them cups. Yeah. That's amazing. You guys are doing good right now. I love it. Okay, so that's your energy at this moment. Let's get into the story and figure this all out. I mean, it looks good right there. I should just leave it call it a day, but <laughs> it's not how I roll. Here we go. First card of your story is this. Why are you disappointed? Why are you looking like, uh, yeah, okay, sure, whatever. Four cups. You're disappointed in something. I mean, it's hard to tell in this picture. There's three cups on one side and one cup on the other, right? So it's hard to tell which cups you got, but I think it's the one that has the three. Because you're here, abundant, stable, grounded, right? You're full of love. But this one over here, this is the one you're not looking at. This is the one you're not seeing. Hmm. Person plays your thing. Right. Next card, please. Why are you in this energy? Why are you... I mean, this is great, but this is just like... A little... Hmm. Oh, strength card. That's interesting. Strength card, Leo energy. Cancer Leo, get it? <laughs> so you guys are on the board. <coughs> okay, so with the strength card and the four of cups, mm, it's like, she's not looking at the strength card, right? She's got her back turned, kind of, right? So, I don't know. Let me get clarity on this card here because it, 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 oh, I will take those three. That one's first. Okay, so the top, the bottom is the top. Right. Okay, so you feel, this makes complete sense now. This is why I wanted the clarity, my friends. This is why my cards are so beautiful that God gave me this gift, amen, to share with you all. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. The Four of Cups is represented of your despair and you're like, oh my God. It's because that, that one cup is the next cup for the Ten of Cups. Right? So it is someone. 
that you are sad about, disappointed about, kind of, you know what I'm saying? Because you, you, you don't see it. And you need strength to have justice, okay? And what I mean by that is you need to look at the cup because that will give you the strength for the justice and then, then you will... Well, let's get into your next cards. Oh, shit. See that thing ricocheting like that? Boom. There you go. There's your nine one. Well, the Nine of Wands is the wounded warrior. You, you, you've overcome obstacles, barriers, and burdens. Some of your own, some other people's. And you're standing strong in your passion because wands are about fire, mojo, your soul, right? Passions. So it looks like you're going to overcome this Four of Cups energy. It looks like you're going to look at this other cup. Let's find out what your card is. The tower. Okay. The tower is not always a bad thing, people. Right? It's not. It's a representative of change. Destruction. Chaos. Shit that was built on a faulty foundation comes crumbling down. The roots that you have planted are uprooted. That kind of thing. So, what I'm feeling here is, is that this Four of Cups is now ending for you. Something's about to change. Something is being torn down. This is why the Strength card is here too. And that's pretty cool because you got you got the strength card and the justice. Two majors. And then the tower. Three majors. I'm telling you, majors are big time events in your life, people. Okay, let's get another card here and find out what the deal is. Oh, there it is. Queen of Wands. Well, it's like this. You go from the Queen of Pentacles, stable, grounded, and all happy, joy, joy, right? But then there's something that is you're not looking at, and this is what's kind of partially making you feel a little you know, disgusted, despair, something like that. But the strength with the justice means that you prevailed in all these burdens and in, in this energy of the Four of Cups. And that creates a tower. So now you become the Queen of Wands. That's my Miss Sassy Pants card, right? So you're very fiery, you're intelligent, you're obviously still stable, but now it's like you have this fire in you. Okay? Fire. Passion. Right? And the Nine of Wands, she's holding that one wand. Because the Ten of Wands is, is burdens and all that shit. So you overcome these burdens, right? This is the tower. You have came against things, foes, situations in your life that really hurt you, that really put you in this Four of Cups energy. And just as being brought to that, bringing the tower, making you now the Queen of Wands energy. Now you have a lot of fire and passion and mojo and drive. Okay. And look at this. Judgment. I mean, psh, this Four of Cups energy is done. You know what? You're not going to sit there and look all sulky and be in this disparaging energy. So judgment is being called... Or you're calling judgment on a hermit. Because I feel here that you went in internally. Okay, I think the Four of Cups is part of this Nine of Wands. 
So whatever bullshit that you've been through is a reflection of this Four of Cups. And so when that tower comes and wrecks that kind of energy for you, you now become invigorated, we'll say. And you're calling judgment on the hermit mode. So you're going in, you're like reflecting, you're analyzing. It's Virgo energy because they're very analyzers, they're analytical, which is the same thing, just whatever. And so you are putting an end to this four of cups. Which is very, very, very good, good progress. Okay. Yeah, let's keep going. There it is. The star. Boom. You've healed. Okay. Yep. You've healed in this process. And this is your justice. Healing. Probably because you wanted the Ten of Cups. And you weren't getting it because that one cup is right there and you have three. So one and nine is ten. And that's complete wish fulfillment, complete emotional happiness and abundance, right? And so because you've shown strength and basically justice was served in your barriers, blockages and burdens, you stand strong as that wounded warrior and ready to still kick ass. And that brought that tower moment. And that tower moment ended this for you because... You now are now fiery and passionate, and you call judgment yourself on being a hermit going within and being in this sulky attitude because you've healed. Mm. You've healed. Or you're healing. No, you've healed because justice is there. Justice and judgment. You've healed. Done. Done deal. There's the next card. Look at you successfully healing yourself, victory, pat yourself on the back. Congratulations. Because you're loving yourself. There, this one cup, I feel that maybe you were trying to see if someone was going to give you that cup for that 10 to have that wish fulfillment. And it's it wasn't coming. That's why you were in this energy and... You overcame some shit within yourself, bringing that tower to this energy that you are having about not maybe getting the Ten of Cups. And so now that you've healed, you're very you're successful in that healing process. Just like I told you, the healing under the, 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 the star card underneath the justice is you've healed, and this is your success. This is your victory. Six of Wands. Okay. So we keep going. Get very close to the end. So noobs, hit the like button, subscribe if you enjoy it. Leave a comment too. I love talking with y'all. So are you ready? Look at you sitting there all temperant. Temperance. You found your balance. You found your peace and harmony within yourself. Because you realize that one cup, you don't need it. You're loving yourself. Man, this is good. Oh, here comes the chariot. Man, this is the divine Uber. Okay? So, there's definitely positive forward movement now with your temperance, your balance, your peace, and your harmony within yourself to know that you've overcome this shit and know that you could love yourself. Right? Wow. I gotta sip my coffee for this one. Okay, noobs, hit the like button, subscribe, become part of the Divine Family. I love it. I need more of it. Okay, so that's the story, noobs. We're going to get to the ending right now. Here comes your two cards for the outcome, your verdict. Oh, the magician. Ooh, what are you trying to do? You trying to manifest something? Hmm? It looks like that. Or something is manifesting for you because the chariot. I mean, people. I watch other tower readers, right? And they're great. Everybody's great. I love it. I love it. I love it. We have a great community here, right? We all stick up for each other. 
Most of them. Mm. Other ones are copycats. Steal your shit and then make a video of that shit that's yours and claim it is theirs. And now they get 5,000 views and you got 10. Anyways. Where I'm going is when I watch other readers, they all have the bullshit cards. And what I mean about the bullshit cards is like the pages and the nights and all those things. Which is still part of their reading. It's not uh, bashing that. But I want you to see the difference in the significance of my readings to others. Because look at one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, fucking eight major arcanas in this bitch. Now, I spoke about this before in past readings because this past two weeks, nothing but majors have been coming out. It was like three, four, five, six, seven, now eight. This is significant in your life, my friends. And that's all I'm saying. It has definitely significant meaning and value to you at this moment. Because major arcanas are major events in your life, right? So, eight on the board. That is exactly half. Wow, half of the cards I lay out. That is, I mean, show me some other video that has that shit. I don't know. I don't see it. I don't see it. Eight. Okay, people. Look that eight up as an angel or two, my friends. Okay, so here comes the last card of your story. What do you? What? What is manifesting for you? Because God's bringing you something. It's being manifested at this time because you went through your self healing, your self love, and now you're being rewarded. Oh, my God. Nine major arcanas. Nine. Here's your emperor underneath the nine of cups. That's the cup you're missing, and now it is being given to you, my friends. Holy shit. God's bringing you that in because you deserve it. You're sitting here in your own energy being like, yeah, I've got things going on. I'm great. I'm happy. I'm in love. But there's just one thing missing. One thing missing and I don't know. I, 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 I want complete love. Strength. Justice. You, you beat this energy. You beat this Four of Cups energy. This is the Nine of Wands. You've overcome that. You're the wounded warrior. Inner healing yourself, that bring that tower to endless freaking energy, making you now that Miss Sassy Pants. Calling judgment on that shit. So now you're not the hermit because you've healed very successfully. Because you found your balance, your peace, and your harmony within yourself. And now God brings a divine Uber right to your curb because He manifested this shit for you. And pop, there's your emperor. Case closed. End of story. Wow. Okay, so that has been your reading, my friends. This is a good one. This is one of the best. And it's yours. So, I thank you for your time and your energy, right? So, when you go out in the world, I want you to be safe. I want you to have a great day. Remember, you are a star. You're healed. You can do things now that um, you weren't quite sure that you could persevere in the past through. But because you put in the hard work and effort and healed yourself over this four cups, well, God reward you. And there's your emperor. So with that being said, my friends, peace and pray. If you're a newbie, hit the like button, subscribe, become part of the Divine Family. Love it. Leave it here. Have a great day. Peace and pray.